Yes. I don't know. It's just so weird to me to hold the... Uh... I think it's a good way to adapt because he's probably going to be leaning against Monkey King. So that, that's 250 gold he bypassed. Enough. Well, 150 technically since he got 100 to start off. So that's interesting. I mean, I've seen pros miss skill many times, mostly Weehaw, to be honest, but yeah, that, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mid lane, a lot of damage he's being placed here. on the Iceberg. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, Ramsey's, are you in range to have to get the kill? Impale is there, and Ramsey's with enough damage to take him out. In the meantime, there was a little bit of action here in the top lane, but Bakker will, will live. That's, that's Brewmaster's skill, isn't it? It's called that, fun. That is, that makes this game unplayable. Two skills with the same name, that is unacceptable. Bottom lane in the meantime, Solo taking a lot of damage, but they're going to try to turn this onto the clockwork. Looks like Venno dies in the other lane as well. DK Phobos, though, getting a nice solo kill. Yep, don't worry, I caught the action. Spearbreaker charge and then they right click. Oh, wow, that's, that's exciting stuff. <laughs> they right click and I don't believe it. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime. Oh, they actually have vision because of the charge. Nicely done. That last right click was definitely neat. Potential Aghanim Scepter. Who would you say is the best one to give this game? Clockwork, A, and Luna. You don't like Spearbreaker Ags, I take it, huh? That's correct. Yeah, you'd be correct in thinking that Loon in the top lane. <laughs> getting gone on. Lots of damage coming out. Trying to do a little bit more before he inevitably goes down. Charge is coming. Don't think that a level all your bases so you can't be wrong. Unless That's Spearbreaker's correct. giving it <laughs> Which is impossible. Yeah, oh, top lane. Charge. Oh, and the bash. Oh, FNG. Bash. Good Throw game is called. Good game. Very rarely do A is by Midas if they actually make the farm, but they're always in this position where they can never really take early farm. If that makes sense. Yeah. It, it's so difficult to like give your five position a lane like solo was doing last game. A little top lane taken out. FNG not quite gonna die to the soul. kill solo. Did he not learn last game that killing solo does not matter at all? Died 17 fucking times last game, for God's sake. <laughs> A lot of space being created right now. The solo will eventually drop to DK Fergus level 5 right now. That's the qualification for being worth it? You just have to stay yeah. okay. You just gotta let your team know so they don't get the more. FNG. Oh my god. Eclipse is gonna be popped. Is it gonna be enough to take out Lil? Indeed it is. Pasha did not come out to tank it in time. Definitely would have lived if at least one of those charged to TP back to base. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That was the reason. doesn't happen, huh? <laughs> In the meantime, Phobos, DK Phobos, catches out the Doom. Solo's attempting to help out Lil. Will be enough with Ramsey's help as well. But the real question is, will Clockwork get the bounty rune? Indeed he does. Game breaking here for DK Phobos, but Ramsey's going to get the kill of the Mountain Strike. Can't be too sad bounty is under attack. Agreed. Worth it. <laughs> These heroes that are in front of their face. But now he's level 5 and he's looking Radiant's to make things happen on Solo. Yeah. That is a dead Leon if I've ever seen one. How much extra amplification over there? There's no one trying to get the kill on DK Phobos, but the Laguna Blade will not be enough, not nearly enough, in fact, as he's going to earn some safety. He's mid lane, Balance Strike's going to cancel out the charge. Do they actually have enough damage? Indeed they do with that net from Lil. So, uh, Hookshot is available. Look for him to get a little bit more involved right now. As they smoke here from VP, they're going to run into Alchemist. Do they have enough damage to actually take him out? Actually, a charge is already applied to Monkey King. There's, there's a hookshot into a clockwork. Ultimate. There's the AA Blast. It's going to finish off Ramses with ease. And VP in a lot of trouble. Solo dying. That is two for nothing. Four on the Alchemist players out in the world. Is There's going to be a charge bottom. We'll get to that in just a second. Lion. Solo. They see him. They don't need the hookshot, but they're going to use it anyway. And, I mean, hey, that took a charge and a hookshot. Ags for quite a while. Like, they'll end up switching up their build. Like, once they're six slotted, they'll end up changing to get a BKB or some other item. Where this game, they have really, really good Ags and stuff. Solo's gonna use his ult Luna. That's, that's a double whammy to take out the Luna. Well, so the, the Ags thing is like, they wanna make sure that they're not gonna die. 
will reduce the burden. He's going to get Nether struck into a bash, which means Doom will not be applied to FNG. I don't think we've seen a Doom wow, first that just under gets in there. Mm -hmm. the, the only reason I say it is because it is a risk, because if they die, the Doom all does go off. Uh, Lean in the meantime. Initiated on AA Blast will connect. Trying to take out the Spirit Break in the meantime. Looks like he'll find it. The question is, will he pop? Indeed he does. It's a one for one. Could have been worse though. The name of the game for this this big boy iceberg. Only a few hundred away from finishing that Radiant. Will in the meantime. Find DK Phobos. Here comes the Monkey King. DK Phobos has his blade now. Does activate it, but I don't know if anybody's coming to save him. As Ramsey's just right clicks him down. There's a charge onto Lil. And more rotations coming in. I don't know if they're going to be fast enough, but Lil just runs into them, I suppose. It'll be good enough. And Luna ult is activated for it. can't stop them at all. Keep your taking some powers and everything, but I don't know. Uh -oh. That was a beautiful stun on Spirit Breaker, but I don't think it's going to save his life. No one drops. It'll be a trade for the Spirit Breaker, at least for now. Iceberg not quite done with the raid. Actually, you can buy it right now. Nice hook shot onto DK Phobos. Beautiful Earth Spike onto two, though. And that's going to stop the aggression in its tracks. Viber in the meantime, he's going to die to the... Oh, no. <laughs> that is, that's <laughs> kind of one of those really depressing moments. <laughs> oh, they need to fly to Alchemist, and they might be able to get the kill. Indeed, they will. Ramsey's able to clean him up. DK Phobos in the meantime, they're just getting dove in left, right, center, everywhere, which in between die. Most likely the Lion. Solo. There is a four staff on the Venomancer, but we'll see if it actually comes into play right here. There it is. It's gonna pop one of the cogs, but here comes the FNG charge. They don't need another strike, earn charge applied. More than enough damage. Does take four heroes, but this is kind of the thing, like as opposed to last game where you have four heroes like killing these supports every now and then. You didn't have an alchemist on the other side of the map that's space to be not aware. It, it says losing the courier is punishable by death. <laughs> Does it actually say that? Oh, wait, he popped it. <laughs> he popped it. There's the courier. They have two couriers now. I'm not sure. Uh, I, after all that, I missed the, the, this courier shit. It's okay, though. It was just solo. I mean, we've seen the guy before, guys. Sabotage. <laughs> Venomancer completely destroyed. He gets off his ult. He, he's definitely going to take down, though. You have to believe. You want Ramsey? Iceberg. And Iceberg is the kill. And he goes FNG, though, trying to get. Some redemption here, Ramsey's healing up a lot. My god, that passage is disgusting. He's on the other side of the cogs. Looks like he'll live to see another day. Lil in the meantime, TP's out. Let's charge down bottom. This is looking, uh, who's dead here? Uh, I'm sure he'll die at some point, but we're gonna see. Charge into another second. The Pasha, there's a, the ultimate hook shot. Pasha, four stats out, but he's gonna end up dying. No one is here. We see the. Finger of Death, able to finish off the clock, which was a one for one. It was actually pretty good from VP. They managed to turn that around later when he gets his levels. Yeah, it's true. Oh, we're gonna have an Earth Spike onto the Spirit of Rekaru into Laguna Blade. So a little bit too aggressive there from Team Spun the game. <laughs> you know, he happens to, he stuns people for five seconds. It's quite effective. Isn't it? A lot yes, of people. It, it really is. Bottom lane, Luna, you are dead. Eventually you will die. I promise you, you will die. There you go. It does cost him an AA blast to three heroes. DK Phobos, you will up. Watch him use that blade mail here in a second. There we go. Ramsey doesn't care. He's healing through the blade mail. Good, clean hero. Lil, now this right's going to be faked out. Iceberg with the unstable concoction. There's the Doom. And with the drums. Alchemist is out of the who's is that? FNGs? Yeah. The Doom is completely wasted. Alchemist is farmed, but they have zero powers to take on the map right now. Oh wow. I didn't even notice that. He's yeah. gotta make these gangs happen, DP, just bring the numbers. Oh, AA blast on two. Unstable concoction. Will you get it off in time, my friend? Oh he does. But there's a Ramsey gold, and Iceberg is taking so much damage. He fell so quickly. Unreal. 50 seconds on the deck. Does have buyback if he needs to, but no one in company. The tier 2 tower will be falling short. Well, they didn't manage to shut down the Alchemist in lane very well. I mean, they just turned it every time. But, uh... Uh, that time, he was charging bottom lane. It was just solo, and they couldn't even get that kill. Although, now they will. <laughs> 
as a particular devil, yeah. But at the end, better team, in my opinion. Well, you also talked about not just uh, being a better team, but oh, solo. He's gonna run right into Spirit Breaker. No one is here as well. Luna ult being applied, and Solo's gonna take the brunt of that damage. No one. Nice. Luna getting charged though into a hook shot. They're using everything on this poor Lena. She could plug some suicide if she needs to, but Ramsey comes in with that ultimate of his. Dealing a little bit of damage to the Luna who pops the BKB. Meanwhile, Alchemist, like you talked about, they're just having no issues killing this guy. 65 seconds on the deck. Does technically have buyback. DK Bubbles with the blade mail will get away. No, is he gonna pick actually? He dies at the lip of his bit. Like DP just gonna continue the pressure. But you're talking about the picks where technically speaking against an alchemist, obviously you don't have an AA, like a hard counter, but they do have a lot of burst, and that Alchemist does not like burst damage because he likes to heal over time. Mid barracks is taken out. No one. I guess four stepped out. Battle strike onto two heroes into a Laguna Blade. I hear a Doom. Was that on Illusion? Perhaps it was, but it doesn't matter. Two dead for Team Spirit as VP continue to roll through this game. Yeah, there's just so much damage that a man's doing. Of course, tons of damage. And also, this is not that level of farm where you can actually tank through all these things. These heroes are too close in net worth to him. Pasha not scared at all, despite having almost no HP to speak of. Gets frozen in place. Thanks. Okay, he's just gonna die. <laughs> Space created though, because I got the melee rack, so it's all good. And Solo, another sacrifice for himself. I mean, this is sometimes. Well, we can't. If you don't memorize the trees. Why does he have it? I don't know. Because they wanted to show off that they can do a lot with this engine. They're going to apply a lot of pressure to Luna. She's going to die before getting off that old DK Phobos. Pop the blade mill. Has absolutely no mana to speak of. Charge applied to no one. But that's just going to be the death of the Spirit Breaker if I'm not mistaken. Does get off the Nether Strike though onto Monkey King. They're going to apply more pressure this time to Alchemist. So ults were used. Iceberg will live to see another day. Has the Octarine Core of course. That's going to help life steal quite a bit for him. And surprisingly only a one for one right now. Rams does so much damage. Oh, no, it's five. Oh, 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 oh. Lena has a nine second as well. So, but that just means everybody else on their team will die faster. Right? Uh oh, uh oh. Alchemist stuns himself. Oh, he gets forced up. Actually, they forced the Pasha ultimate. But not too much damage coming out from that. Alchemist just gets destroyed. Has to buy back. Definitely the right choice. Double BKB pop for BP. Ramsey, Nether struck into a nice charge. Luna ult. The creeps are tanking most of the damage right now, though. Pasha and company. Looks like the lion's going to be the first to fall. Pasha. Next. Trying to create a little bit of space. And no one's going to be pursued next. Okay, so beautiful stun onto three. Charge. FNG wasn't even going for, for no one, but it's going to cost him his life regardless. That's the Aegis. And you have to expect that he's going to die yet again. If he can get some crazy shenanigans here. Uh, what? Oh, no, he's up the what? hill. Was that the Cog four staff combination? No, this is Pike. Oh, yeah, but it was oh, no, he's going to die anyway. I thought, I thought he was cogged and then four staff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. No one getting charged. FNG. Okay. Into the Nether Strike, into an AA Blast. Can they actually do enough damage to take him out? Bloodstone's available if he really needs to deny himself, but looks like the BKB will suffice. Pasha. Looks like the charge can be applied to Lion. Skull's gonna be the first to die here. Poison Nova's pop. Alchemist gets his ult off. I think he's Glimmer Cape. They can't see him right now. He's gonna look to TP out. Indeed, he does. DK Phobos. Ramsey's the Cogs do nothing to you. Through BKB. <laughs> So it's a three for one after going for solo. Alchemist does live one. It's such yeah. a short duration though. Eight seconds? Wait, they changed. Okay, they changed this. It did not used to be eight seconds. Dyer's bottom tower. Oh, I'm just crazy. HP one's quite good. The dragon's garbage. And I think the, the new creep is very good. If you're if you have like a shadow blade or a blink or something like that. Uh, 
Ramsey jumps in and <laughs> hey, he's dead. Luna's dead. Luna buys back in the game. Does have his ultimate to work with. Ramsey's now pops his ultimate, which creates a lot of space to be able to kill the eight or to kill the clockwork yet again. Ramsey's gonna get back. He actually walk out of his ultimate. Luna ult doing considerable damage, but that's a dieback. 120 seconds on the deck. It is Mega Creeps in the favor of BP. They're gonna take this 2 0 against Team Spirit. I believe they just played an ESL qualifier, final qualifier, and VP beat them 3-0. So that's, if I'm not mistaken, that is five straight games for VP over Team Spirit.